So back when I introduced eigenvalues and eigenvectors for the first time, we looked at invariant lines. We looked at the invariant lines of this matrix here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that matrix to then use this method of using the characteristic equation to find the eigenvalues and then the corresponding eigenvectors. Okay, so we're going to use this method instead. Now, from the previous video, remember, we have that m take away lambda i times your eigenvector v will be equal to the zero vector. Okay, and the consequence of that was that the determinant of m take away lambda i must be equal to zero, as we saw. Now, here's our matrix M, okay? Lambda times I, so M take away lambda times I, is 0, minus 2, minus 2, 0, take away lambda, 0, 0, lambda. And so this is 0 take away lambda, so minus lambda, minus 2 take away 0, minus 2 take away 0, 0 take away lambda. Okay, so that is M take away lambda I. Now, we need the determinant of that to be equal to 0. So, oh, let me write it correctly. So minus lambda, minus 2, minus 2, minus lambda, and that's got to be equal to 0. So minus lambda times minus lambda is lambda squared. And then we take away minus 2 times minus 2, so 4 equals 0. So that implies that lambda must be equal to plus or minus 2. So this is our characteristic equation that we are solving, okay? We get our two eigenvalues, plus and minus two. So for the first eigenvalue, let's call that lambda one being equal to two, okay? If we were to substitute it into this equation here, I'd have m take away lambda two, lambda one uh, i. So the lambda one here is two, so I pop it in there. So I would have minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, times by our first eigenvector, v1, is equal to the zero vector. OK? Now, that eigenvector there you can represent as x, y. So minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2 times x, y is equal to the zero vector. So minus 2 minus 2 times x, y is minus 2x take away 2y, and that's going to be equal to zero. And then you've got minus 2 minus 2 times x, y. Well, that's exactly the same thing. So with these two equations being exactly the same, okay, they are both, if you add 2y to both sides, divide through by the 2, you're going to get y is equal to minus x in both cases. So that is your invariant line. So the corresponding eigenvector, v1, simplest way of writing that down would be 1 minus 1. OK, so if you put x in as 1, then your y is going to be minus 1. So that is the first eigenvalue with its corresponding eigenvector. So then you go, right, well, the second eigenvalue is minus 2. So lambda 2 is equal to minus 2. So if I substitute the lambda in here as minus 2, we get 2 minus 2 minus 2, 2. And that's multiplying with v2, and that's going to be equal to the 0 vector. So once again, I'm going to use x, y equals 0. 2 minus 2 times xy, so 2x take away 2y equals 0. And minus 2x plus 2y equals 0. OK, so rearranging this one, we're going to get y is equal to x. And rearranging this one, we get y equals x. So that is your um, invariant line. So the corresponding eigenvector, so when x is 1, y is 1. OK? And these are precisely the same eigenvectors and eigenvalues that we got in that first video. OK? So this is a basic example showing you how you can use the characteristic equation to then get your eigenvalues and then how you can then get your eigenvectors in this 2D case. We'll see another example in the next video.